Hey there! Oh, this? I was just eating my favorite food before we started. How about you? What do you usually eat to jumpstart your day? Do you like putting milk on your cereal? Or you prefer mixing your eggs with rice? How about a cold strawberry and banana shake? Mixing food is quite fun, right? It makes the food more delicious and satisfying. But have you noticed something about the foods I just mentioned? These foods have something in common. What do you think that is? Time's up! The foods I've mentioned are examples of mixtures. But what exactly are mixtures? A mixture is anything that is made by combining two or more different substances or ingredients, just like the strawberry and banana shake or the cereal with milk. Now, what are the different kinds of mixtures? Heterogeneous mixture. It is a mixture in which you can easily distinguish its components or ingredients. A mixture of knots is an example of a heterogeneous mixture. Even if you mix it, you can still identify one component from another. There are heterogeneous mixtures that occur naturally and are human-made. Some examples of a natural heterogeneous mixture are the sand in the soil. Sand may be composed of pebbles, bits of shells, glass, and pieces of iron. While soil may have a combination of sand, dirt, rocks, and decayed matter. There are also some heterogeneous mixtures that are human-made. These mixtures do not occur naturally but are made from existing ingredients. For example, mixing different ingredients such as cement, sand, gravel, and water forms a concrete mix, which is used to make pots, walls, floors, and many more. Now, let's try to put some sugar on a glass of water and mix it. What happens? You see, as you mix it, the sugar slowly disappears. We call this a homogeneous mixture. Homogeneous mixture is a combination of different components or ingredients that are not distinguished from one another. This mixture is also called a solution. Homogeneous mixtures or solutions consist of substances that are classified as solute or the substance that dissolves in a solution just like sugar and solvent which is the dissolving medium like water. So the next time you think of combining your food, be sure that you are mixing the right components, okay? You don't want to mix your chocolate with vinegar because that doesn't sound good. Ew! Thank you for the awesome food talk. Hope you've learned something. Now I need to finish my breakfast. See you around!